Good morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Yeah. I heard some of those one o'clock in the morning people. Yeah. Welcome to Op Ed. Welcome to New Orleans. Welcome to the Roosevelt Hotel. We're really excited to be putting on our third annual Op Ed. Uh, I was just talking with someone who said, I remembered it being smaller. Uh, we had, I think, about 70 people at the first op-ed. We had 170 people registered for this op-ed, so we're doing something right. Uh, we want to thank you guys for being here. I know coming to New Orleans uh, is a commitment, and you all had a choice in how you were going to spend your time, and you chose to spend it with us, and for that, we are very thankful that you are here to engage in this incredible event. So give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah, there you go. So what are we, what are we trying to do today? Well, there's a lot going on in the industry, and it's hard to take a time out. Take a time out to think about the things that are really hard to solve. Think about the things that you solved already that were really great that maybe you should be talking about because they might be bigger than you think they are. And so what we're here to do is to inspire you. And we want you, we know you'll inspire us because you do that every year, and we want to motivate you. And we want to educate you, and we want your feedback, and we want to interact with you, we want you guys to interact with everyone around you. And that is a big theme of the day. And we have 80 media companies in the room, 140 uh, uh, publisher attendees, and the true leaders in the space, right? The people that really make it happen. And it's such a high class, great caliber. I'm just so, so excited. Uh, first off, I want to thank our sponsors. I'll cue the sponsor slide. Uh, Crux, uh, Index Exchange, and SpotX. Let's give our sponsors a round of applause. Thank you so much. And we, you know, when you do the sponsor kit, you're like, oh, you're going to sponsor the Wi-Fi, and you're going to sponsor the reception. Like, we really needed money for those things. So those aren't just us saying, hey, we'd like sponsors like, you know, SpotX. We need you guys to pay for the dinner, uh, or we won't have it. Um, so we, uh, we do appreciate that. Um, and uh, I also want to recognize some special guests. If you could just stand up quickly as I, as I say your name. Uh, we have Jason Kent, uh, CEO of Digital Content Next. Jason, you're here. Um, Jason's going to be moderating a panel. Uh, we were at Jason's event last week in Miami, uh, DCN annual event. We, we like doing op-ed on the heels of that conference because p there's a lot of content publishers that get in the room and talk about market forces, changes to their business, threats, opportunities, and how they want to innovate going forward, diversify, look at distributed content and all these different things. And when you come to op-ed, it's about, all right, now how do we make all that shit happen, right? And it's you guys that actually have to pick up the pieces when your executive comes back from DCN and says, hey, I learned about this great idea. We're going to do Facebook Instant and Apple and you know all these other things. And you're, oh boy, here we go. Um, so really excited to uh, continue doing uh, op-ed uh, after DCN. Uh, operatives advisor Emily Riley is here. Emily, if you could just stand up. People are going to, yeah. You'll, you'll see a lot of uh, Emily today. Uh, we actually had to pull her off of something. She's like, you have, you have me on way too many things. It's like, OK, no problem. Um, is Bernie here, Bernie Gershon? Can Bernie stand up? Bernie not here? Oh, wow. Fail. Uh, not me, him. Um, and and uh, he's like, why didn't I get invited to your like, little mini event yesterday? I'm like, well, now this is why. Um, <laughs> if you want to hear some really bad jokes or unfiltered commentary, you can go find Bernie later. Uh, I want to thank my team, uh, Don, who did an incredible job. Uh, Don, you could please stand for a second, uh, putting the event together. <laughs> But the real rainmaker in the room is Rachel, who's like making rain as like I thank her. She's like telling people what to do. Just stand up for a second, Rachel. 
Op, op-ed, Rachel really makes op-ed come to life. She's done this every year, um, and I know that when I sit down and go over the goal of the event, which we start six months in advance, uh, I just know it's all gonna come together. So uh, I appreciate all her hard work, uh, which started uh, at like four or five o'clock this morning. Um, so if we're gonna do the video. I'm gonna say a couple of things first. So I'd actually, I'd like to take a moment to remember a great leader in our space. And he's likely made an impact to most of the folks here in the room, and certainly played a big role in shaping Operative's vision and challenging us, uh, and was the keynote to the inaugural op-ed in Palm Desert three years ago, and that guy's name was Kurt Hecht. And Kurt was a really awesome guy, and if you met him once, you felt like you made a new friend. He had a genuine interest in listening to what other folks had to say. And Kurt had a vision for using great infrastructure and operations as a competitive advantage in the market. He saw the relationship between operational excellence and profit. And he coined the term the leaky bucket, which became the basis for over 100 publishers justifying why they need a business management system like Operative. He helped us understand why our system was so valuable. And we're just gonna play a little bit of that clip. I would actually say that um, kind of a multi-dimensional skill set is kind of what the, the leaders of the future look like. A year ago, we had a dedicated mobile sales team. Got rid of it. Interesting. We basically said, listen, you know, all these different specialists going out and seeing the client, and it's kind of like, oh, we've got a meeting with, I don't know, make it up, Kimberly Clark. So send the cable person, send the digital person, the PC person, send the mobile person. Um, I just look at that from when I was on the agency side, and I'm like, what are all these people doing in here? Like, just send one person in that can represent your brand, you know, represent what the opportunities are, and you know, essentially be well versed. So the, the single best, you know, answer or solution to anxiety is growth. Like, if you're growing, people generally feel pretty good. Right. <laughs> I can't stand the leaky bucket, which was basically like the sales team went out. They, they sold the programs, and then I would watch it whittle away to like under delivery or tags weren't set up or something didn't happen. It would basically be like, the money's there, but it's kind of like dripping out the doors through all these different you know, problems you know, that we have on our internal side on op operations. And so that team really dug in. And you know, it's the people in the room ultimately, like a lot of folks wanna say, boy, the sales teams are the rock stars of the organization, they make it happen. You know, you graduate from an ad ops role into being a seller. We don't take that point of view. Like, once again, we love the sales team, but at the end of the day, it's like the yield team, the ad ops team that really can find the most value in what we have and keep um, kind of the hard fought dollars that the sales team has brought in. And I just hope in your organizations, like, that rings true. So I was, uh, I was at DCN last week talking to Jeremy uh, from the weather company. And um, uh, I was asking him, you know, how weather is so far ahead in unifying the yield curve, which is one of the themes of this event, uh, across direct and programmatic. And after 10 minutes of um, technical reasons, you know, he said uh, on his way leaving the conversation, but the real answer is that this was Kurt's vision five years ago, and if he didn't push us all so hard, we wouldn't be out in front like we are today. And Kurt was a great person, a pioneer in the industry, and we will all miss him. Uh, I wanted to do that because uh, I, I got close to Kurt and uh, he was someone that I really respected and uh, we'll all miss him. All right, How do you, not easy to transition from that, uh, but I'm going to attempt to. Um, and I was, I was describing my blazer at the first op-ed, so now all you guys saw it. That's, that's the nine color plaid jacket I was talking about last night which I can never wear again, right? Because I wore it to 10 conferences that year, it's like a dress, right? If you wore your dress to like a wedding and your friend's christening and all of a sudden, that dress is done. So same with the jacket, uh, you'll never see it again. Uh, so last year's op-ed was, our theme was the profitable publisher. And our goal was to help everyone become more profitable in direct sales. That was the enterprise focus. How do you move from stage one maturity in your, in your growth curve to stage five, right? And as your business became more integrated, technically, 
there was a direct correlation to your ability to profit, our survey found, and the survey was with everyone in the room. And we spent a lot of time on that. But in the last 12 months, and in the next 12 months, it's not just about direct sales, which we still think is the most important, but it's not just about direct sales. It's about the, about the acceleration of multiple marketplaces, direct, traditional, new products, distributed content, programmatic. And this transformation that everyone's going through is not a drill. Facebook and Google ate 25 of the $50 billion of ad spend last year. That is not a good thing, especially for everyone in this room. And while digital is growing, you're all growing digital to some extent, overall revenues are flat. And some of the reasons for this fall into several buckets. There are new market forces in play. There's lots of M&A taking place, big media companies buying other media companies, people investing in companies that you know, they wanna diversify what they're doing, people buying ad tech companies, and there's new entrants in the market that are very big, that are making a lot of waves. We're actually gonna talk to one of those today. Um, and there's too much reliance on middlemen, right? The taxes are too high. By the time the dollars make their way to you all, uh, there, there's been some erosion and churn uh, since that dollar was first spent. And your buyer is fragmenting, right? You've got the same buyer across 10 different marketplaces that's trying to buy your media in different ways and be clever. And these threats need to be turned into opportunities. And that's all we think about, right? What's going on in your world? How can we stay six months ahead? So if last year was about taking back control of direct sales, this year is about mastering multiple marketplaces. How do you become a portfolio sales business versus the business you were five years ago? And one theme you're gonna hear run throughout the day is unifying the yield curve. And we see this as vital to taking back control. And that's the theme of OpEd this year, taking back control, taking back control of your yield, taking back control from your buyer, taking back control from ad tech, owning your own destiny. And the yield curves we see, because our customers, you all, are pulling us into these, is the coexistence of your linear business or your traditional media business and your digital business, your programmatic and your direct business, and the coexistence of your on-platform business and now your off-platform business, which is increasing also at an increasing rate. So what you all have to do is get good at your main bucket, which now several things live in, in terms of direct sales. Get good at the other buckets, which is your indirect sales channels, and grow those individually. And then get good at going across all those buckets so you can fully understand your yield curve. And so today, what we're gonna to attempt to do is help you guys with all that. Hands on, help you guys with all that, right? This is not a conference where we sit up here and we pontificate and pitch you guys product. You guys can go to the Google event for that. You've been there, you know. Pump you full of lemonade. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna bring you guys subject matter experts, we're gonna bring you data, we're gonna bring you tools and frameworks, and the ultimate goal is for you guys to have actionable ideas to take back to your companies to find ways to make more money. 